I've never seen so much poison hemlock. See this plant right here? This is Conium maculatum, also known as poison hemlock. It's named after poison and hemlock. Hi guys, I'm Chris Ignato and I want to tell you about this dangerous plant that I'm completely surrounded by. This is Conium maculatum, also known as poison hemlock. It's one of the deadliest plants on earth. You know, it's in the carrot family, so it's often mistaken for carrots or parsley. People consume it and terrible things happen. Your lungs can stop working, so you suffocate. Your heart can stop. Your brain does unfortunate things and you basically perish due to eating this plant. Some people just touch it and they're going to the hospital. I don't want you to fear it, but I want you to respect it. Like I said, you eat this plant and you pass over into the netherworld. <laughs> and visit Socrates. This is his favorite plant. Yeah, right. Let me show you more about this plant and give you some close-ups before I melt. All parts of poison hemlock are highly toxic especially the roots and seeds. The hollow stems usually have these these purple or maroon blotches on them and a white powdery pectin looking substance. Keep in mind that milkweed also has very similar looking stems. You don't want to be wrong with this one and go harvesting poison hemlock thinking you're going to feed your monarchs. The last thing you want to do is harvest one of these for a fire bow or hand drill making. You do that and your hands will definitely be poisoned and you might even wind up in the hospital. The ones I'm standing in right now are about five to eight feet tall and they are everywhere. In the last week or so, many of them have gone to seed but some of them are still blooming. Unfortunately, the leaves are often mistaken for carrot or parsley and that's where a lot of people wind up getting poisoned. They harvest a little bit of it stick it in their mouth, and they either end up in the hospital or an early grave. The tiny white flowers have five petals and grow in clusters. The flower clusters greatly resemble Queen Anne's lace, which leads to a lot of misidentifications and, of course, poisonings. Queen Anne's lace has a, a dark burgundy flower in the dead center of their clusters, whereas poison hemlock doesn't. Once you start to learn the identifying features, it's fairly easy to identify and rule out misidentification. And the medium green leaves grow opposite of each other and look almost identical to parsley or carrot leaves. Some people even mistake it for yarrow. Definitely don't want to do that. Poison hemlock does have many medicinal uses. Some of them are pain-killing properties, sleep aids, treating the herpes simplex, and various other treatments. But I do not suggest you make your own medicine with this plant. I'm not even kidding. Funny thing is, poison hemlock was imported from Europe to be grown in gardens for its beauty and some of the medicinal properties. It is a beautiful plant, but I wouldn't keep this plant next to anything edible, that's for sure. If you come across poison hemlock, I don't want you to tremble in fear. Most of the time you'll be just fine, and not all people succumb to the contact dermatitis. Just don't burn it, roll in it, harvest it, and definitely do not consume it. And you'll probably be okay. So there you go. That is poison hemlock. You know, my intention isn't to make you afraid of fields or meadows at this time of year, nor to cause any unnecessary persecution of poison hemlock. I just want to inform you because an educated mind is a prepared mind. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato, and uh, enjoy June.